Emeritus has been on my mind since 1996 when I was a freshman at the University of Nebraska and I rode the bus from campus all the way out to Gateway Mall. I just noticed this beautiful building and the beautiful yard that the building had and I wondered what was that? Uh, as time you know passed and went on and I had the opportunity to move across the country in different locations but I would always keep my eye on the job board postings here at Emeritus especially as my friends from the previous uh, company I worked at transitioned over to Emeritus. Now in 2021, I moved back to Lincoln on my own dime, still had my eye on Emeritus. And in February of 2022, this job role for second VP of talent development came open. So I applied for the role, right? Just put myself out there. The worst thing that can happen, I guess, is they tell you no, right? And you get over that. So I went through my interview process. And one thing I remember was in my last interview of the day was with Sue Wilkinson. And Sue and I spent probably too much time talking about how much we love Nebraska, the community, um, why Emeritus is important in this particular community, how to uphold those values. And I remember sitting across from her thinking, wow, this is a place I wanna be. If the CFO feels that way, then I know other people feel that way. I should have been here years ago, is what I felt like. Um, and then coming into HR and everyone that I've met, since then, for me, Emeritus is for me because of the community that we've created uh, here at 5900 Old Street, but also in um, Utah and in Florida and in Texas and all the places where our associates are, Cincinnati, Ohio. I, I just love Emeritus. I appreciate it. And it all started with some 19-year-old kid taking a bus ride to the mall and seeing this well-manicured lawn here on 59th and Old Street and wanting to be a part of that.